Okay, so remember that I haven't read the passage. So I'm getting into question 12 with no real way of kind of figuring out what I'm supposed to do. But remember that I can do the no reading strategy because of the chronology rule. If I can find some line references in other questions, that might help me with number 12. And sure enough, if I continue on to question 13, I see that I have an evidence pair. So these two questions are linked. Number 13 gives me some possible line references for number 12. But to bring the chronology rule in even further, I could use other questions to narrow my choices in number 13 a little bit. So here's what I might do if I was following the chronology rule. I'd continue on to number 14. I would see that it's talking about line 24. Now based on the chronology rule, these, these questions, these answers are supposed to be in order. So that means that choices A and B are likely right based on the chronology rule. But I say likely because it's not a hard and fast rule. They do break this rule from time to time. So if I know nothing about this question and I were guessing randomly, I would guess choices A or B because they come before the next line reference in number 14. But that's a random guess. I'd rather not guess randomly. I'd rather have some informed reasons behind what I'm doing. But this is at least a good way to start thinking about it. So what would I do? I would now read the question from number 12, and I would make sure I understood what, the, what I'm reading for. I want the expectation that traditional authorities now face. So there's a couple things that I could read for as I go through these line references. So I'd start with 2 to 5. Let's go up there. Unlike personal or private knowledge, such as the health of one's friends and family, the conduct of a private hobby is secret liaison, public knowledge increases in value as it is shared by more people. Okay, well this is public versus private, but I don't see anything about any expectations that anyone has. I also don't see anything about any traditional authorities. So choice A here, line reference A, is not looking good. It just feels like a kind of random definition that doesn't answer the actual question. Now I go to 20 to 21, that's right here, and line reference B says the production, circulation, and reception of public knowledge is a complex process. Great. Well, that's really bad too. That doesn't say anything about what traditional authorities are or what the expectations they face. This is just like a random statement about public knowledge. So that's not great because I just eliminated the two choices that the chronology rule says should be right. But this is a good example of like, it's a chronology suggestion more than a chronology rule. It's really helpful, but occasionally they break it. I'd be pretty confident here that they broke the chronology rule. I did not like either of those two choices. So now I'm like, okay, well, it is what it is. I've got to look at these other ones and see if I can find a good match for this question. Let's look at C, 33 to 38. Oof, this one's tough. As part of the general process of the transformation of authority, whereby there has been a reluctance to uncritically accept traditional sources of public knowledge, the demand has been for all authority to make explicit the frames of value which determine their decisions. I have no idea what I just read. And that's okay. My job here is not to really understand everything. I would not reread this. I would just be like, yep, it makes no sense. But there were some key words that did make a little sense. I saw the word authority. I saw the word traditional somewhere. There it is. So I would keep choice C in the mix because I don't understand it, but I understand it enough to be like, okay, it seems relevant. That's okay. Our job at this point is just to eliminate things that are totally wrong and keep around what seems to make some sense. So line reference D, 43 to 46, that's in the middle of this quote here. It says, editors are increasingly casting a glance at the most read lists on their own and other websites to work out which stories matter to readers and viewers. Okay, well, maybe editors are traditional authorities, um, and maybe their expectation is that they have to, like, look at other websites. I, I really don't know. Again, I don't, I don't have a good sense of what this is really about, but it seems like maybe I could make it fit. Whereas choices A and B weren't about people at all. They were just general statements about like public and private knowledge. So the, hopefully you see that difference. It's, it's tricky. These are is a hard pair of questions. 
But I'd be pretty confident that it's going to be either C or D and that the chronology rule is broken in this particular case. It happens. It's rare. We'll see. If you go through the rest of this test, it does not happen much more. I think maybe one other time. But that's it. So it's a pretty consistent rule. Um, now I would try to make more sense of these line references by looking at the choices in number 12. They should be uninfluenced by commercial considerations. Well, I don't remember reading anything about like commerce and money. Maybe in this line reference D, they talk about like what people, what editors should care about, and maybe they need to make money by going to these websites. Like, I don't really know. Um, I think though that if even if that fits, it's kind of like the opposite meaning, right? It, this is saying they should be uninfluenced by commercial considerations. Choice D seems to say that they're being influenced by commercial considerations. Um, so that doesn't seem very good. I would not be confident in that choice. Choice B, they should be committed to bringing about positive social change. I'm certain that's wrong. That may be true in kind of like a bumper sticker way, right? Can't we all just get along and be happy and have good responsible news media? Yeah, that'd be great. But that's not what they're talking about here. They're not saying that they should be a positive force. This is about other stuff. I don't get it, but both of these things seem pretty kind of either negative or neutral. So I, I, I really don't think, I think I would know if they were saying like the news should be good. They're not saying that. I'm very positive about that. Choice C, they should be respectful of the difference between public and private knowledge. Well, this sounds a lot like this choice A here that we eliminated right? Public versus private knowledge. It's, it's trying to make a distinction. But remember, line reference A is just a definition of those things. It's not saying anyone should be mindful of the difference between them. It's just saying that there is a difference. So maybe this public and private knowledge part matches with line reference A, but should be respectful does not. They don't say that in that line reference. So this is leaving us with choice D. Hopefully it's right. They should be transparent about their beliefs and assumptions. Well, I don't remember reading that either, but this is where I would say maybe I could make sense of these line references a little bit more now that I have some words and ideas to look for from this choice. So I'm looking for something that's about you know, beliefs and assumptions. Let's even use a different color here. Beliefs and assumptions. Well... This weird line reference C talks about f frames of value. I guess frames of value are beliefs, right? Your values are your beliefs. That, that might be a match. And then they should be transparent. Well, is there anything that means transparent? Well, make explicit means to say it out loud and be honest about it. So that kind of matches too. So let's, maybe I can make a little more sense of this. Let's look at it again. As part of the general process of the transformation of authority, whereby there has been a reluctance to uncritically accept traditional sources of public knowledge. Okay. They're saying something's changed about authority, and people are reluctant to accept traditional sources of knowledge. Okay, traditional authorities, I guess. That fits. The demand has been for all authority to make explicit the frames of value which determine their decision. So the demand, and demand, oops, demand is a good word for expectation, which is in the question. So there's another way we can find matches, is we can match with the question as well as with the answer choices. And so in this case, demand fits, transparent matches with explicit, frames of value is pretty good with beliefs and assumptions. It's not that any of these things are overwhelming evidence that this is the right match, but it's kind of the combination of all of them that makes me go, yeah, it's probably right. And so I would pick D here and C, and those are the right answers. But this is a great example where I would pick these not being 100% confident. I would be like, eh, it's pretty good. I've increased my odds of guessing right, but there are always places on the SAT reading where I don't feel like I'm – a hundred percent and that's okay you just need to get used to that feeling it's not going to happen often if you practice like most questions you should be able to point to the reason that you're picking your answer but occasionally it'll be like i didn't really understand what i read but 
this feels like the best match. And that's okay. It happens. 